Welcome back to our channel, and today we are going to explain new block-based workflow in WordPress and Rehub theme. I am surprised how many people still use old workflow for adding content to WordPress. I think this is because they don't know about power and more practical usage of Gutenberg blocks. In this video I want to show you difference between old and new workflow. So, by old workflow, if you want to add some additional data to post, you usually use meta panels or short code generator. You scroll down to open meta panel, add content there, then copy short code, scroll up and place it in content. And the first problem with such workflow is that you don't see how your block looks in your content. You can do this only after publishing and by viewing your page on site. Second problem is that you need to scroll up and down again and again if you want to change content. Of course, you can use page builders like Elementor, but they generate a lot of code, have bad speed or require to the paid accounts. And now, I show you how you can do this in Gutenberg which is integrated in WordPress and Rehub theme which has very powerful Gutenberg framework. So, you just need to type slash and name a block, in our case it's review box. You can see directly how block looks in your content. You can change all content directly in editor and in right panel. And you can easily change place of this block in your content. Latest version of WordPress has also possibility to drag and drop all blocks. But this is good reason, but not the main to start using new workflow. Imagine that you have blocks which are similar to all your posts. For example, your review blocks have always the same criteria as your similar titles and content. By old workflow, you need to fill all fields again in new posts, and here we can use amazing feature of blocks. It's reusable block option. You create block once and save it as reusable block. Now, in NW post, just type slash in first letters of your reusable block, select it to add on page. Convert reusable block to regular by clicking on special icon and edit parts which you want to change. In some scenarios, you may still want to save data to meta panels. For example, in our theme we have option to add reviews for users and this requires to have saved review data in post because user criteria depend on saved editor's review. For this, our blocks have option to save or populate data to metas. Use it to save review data in post. After this, if you have enabled full review option for users, you can find extended fields for user comments. When somebody added review, and you have selected option to show average score between user and editor's review, whole review box will be replaced by common score block. Let me show even more practical scenario. For example, you want to add offer to post. You can do this in post offer meta panel. Again, you need to fill all data, then copy short code in place in content.
And now, you decided to make special aggregated post with best offers of your category. You need to find all posts where you saved your offers, edit them, copy shortcode and place it in your aggregated post. It's already a lot of manual work. But what if we need to change some offer in our list? You must find post where you saved your offer. It's even more problematic because WordPress can't search posts by ID, and this can be almost impossible to find where you saved your offer if you have thousands of posts. And here is new workflow. Add post offer block to page. This block also has page parser, for example, if you place your affiliate link on Amazon, you can get content from page and show it in block. Then, just edit what you want to edit. You can also click button to auto-populate data to post offer section if you need to save some values in post meta. Now, add block to reusable blocks. When you add this reusable block to your aggregated page, don't convert it to regular block. Now, if you want to change anything in your offer, for example, your link, image or even replace all parts of block to another, just edit it on page where you have block. You don't need to find post where you save this block in first time. You can edit it easily from any of your pages where you have this block. After editing, save block. You can see that it's updated everywhere where you have block. This works for all blocks and even for group of block. You can also select your reusable block by clicking on parent icon and get access to all reusable blocks. In latest updated theme we added also shortcode conversion, so, you can copy shortcode of block and use it in any plugin or place where Gutenberg is not available. For example, in Elementor pages or in widget or custom code areas.
And this is not all. You are not limited to save just one block, you can copy whole page and save it as reusable blocks. When you add new post, you can find all available blocks, patterns and reusable blocks, and even see their full preview. Thank you for watching video about this new amazing time-saving feature. We added a lot of ready blocks to our framework, and some new will be introduced soon including our special page builder for Gutenberg.